Good morning, Jasmine. I'm here to do your January 31st tag. I did it once. My program mm, did something with it. So I'm going to do it again. Okay. Let's do question one. Do you eat when you're in bed? No, I don't. I never have eaten in bed unless I'm very, very ill. And then someone has to bring me the jello and soda crackers and ginger ale. That's the only time. Do you have a bedside rubbish bin? Well, I used to, but I don't now. And the reason is I have two beds in my very, very small bedroom, and they take up most of the room. And the only way they can fit in to the room is to be side by side, and there's about a two foot or maybe a little less gap between the two beds. And um, so I'm afraid that if I put a rubbish bin there, I'll fall down during the night when I get up because I get up once or twice at night. So, no, but I always did in my other apartments. So, and let's do number three. Would you go outside in the winter with wet hair? I don't see why not. I've always done it, and, um, except, <laughs> except when it's really, really cold and, uh, my hair is wet, but I have to have a hat on. Um, but if it's really, really cold and my hair is long, I'm afraid that um, it'll just break off into icicles, you know, <laughs> and cut my hair. And I really don't want that to happen. So, um, but I do it. Yeah, I do it. I don't get sick from doing that. Next question. Do you watch television when you are in bed? Sadly, no. My room is so small, I do not have room for a television. But if I did, I don't think I would watch television in bed. Is that what it says? Yeah. I never have. And... Even when my room was very, very big, I never had a television in there. Um, I like to watch TV in the living room, or you may call it the sitting room, or the salon, or the parlor. I call it living room. Um, so, yeah, I do the computer in the living room. All sorts of that electronic stuff. You know what? My only thing I do in the bedroom is sleep and get dressed. <laughs> okay, next question. Do you have a room just to use as putting all your junk in? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Love a duck. <laughs> um... Well, my room is the room to put all the junk in, and there's not very much room. So all the junk is stuffed into the little closet, and therefore some of the junk is in the kitchen because I have a lot of space, cupboard space in the kitchen. And we had to get rid of the rest of the junk because <laughs> there was no room for it. But I lived in this place one time where there was one extra room and uh, my son and I put all our junk in there and it was piled high to the ceiling and um, you couldn't get in the, the door was sorry I had to turn the energy on okay the, you couldn't open the door you could barely open it to get in and uh, one time the electric man came out to check the um, the furnace and it was a gas furnace and he said that um, that was a fire hazard and I had to get all that stuff out of there <laughs> so 
I don't think I did. I think when I moved, I just left all that junk in that room. Which is sad to say. So I didn't really need the junk, did I? Too much information. Number six. Do you eat at the wrong times? Every day. Um, some president during some war, I think, invented three squares a day. That's what they called it. Because you get, they got fed breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and the plates were square. Now, this is what I've heard. Um, I haven't Googled it, and that might be kind of fun to do, but I'm more of a, I'll eat when I get hungry, and if it's, if I just look up all of a sudden and it's uh, three or four and I haven't eaten anything all day, then I'll eat a snack and make myself eat dinner about seven. So mm, when, I when I lost all that weight and I got down to well, more than this, I think that I got down to this because of my eating habits. I guess you would say I have an eating disorder. I don't know, but again, you didn't ask that. So yes, I eat at the wrong times. And there we go. There's your last day of January. Jasmine's tag. Okay. I love you, Jazz. Bye.